back to my channel. Now the best feeling in the world is when you feel your most put together, clean and super refreshed, ready to take on the day. Be real, there are other things that get in the way of us being our most put together self, like binging that new TV show, sleeping in another hour, or talking to your crush. I am so excited to share with you guys that I work with Joy, a new razor brand launching in Canada, to come up with some under five minute, really easy beauty hacks that you can do like right now that are gonna feel like little wins in your day. So if you're a girl boss like me, a student, a mom, or doing anything important that you love, you can move on to the more important things in your life. First things first, you wake up and your eyes are all puffy because you've been burning the midnight oil doing assignments. This whole school schedule is really kicking your butt. You wanna take your look from this to this. Now our first instinct is always to spend extra time covering up eye bags with a pound of makeup, drinking three cups of coffee, and making a mental note to search for the latest magic concealer later. But here's a really simple and free trick to get from here to here in literally five seconds. Guys, anybody can do this. Just put some cold water on your face. Yep, that's it. Just dip a washcloth in the sink and hold it against your eyes for a few seconds. Honestly guys, this can feel a little cold and a little bit jarring, but it works. <laughs> This next tip is fascinating, guys. Now, speaking of soaking in water, did you know that you're probably shaving incorrectly? What I mean by that is you're probably spending way too much time shaving or worrying about ingrown hairs when you can prevent them in the first place. In my opinion, having a smooth shave is a little win in my day. Now, while most people shave at the beginning of their shower or bath, you'll get more success doing this. Shave at the end of your shower. If your legs aren't well hydrated, the hair will be more difficult to cut and this can increase your chances of irritating your skin, nicks and even razor burn. By soaking your legs in a warm bath or shower for at least three to five minutes, the hairs will thicken with water and this helps soften your hair follicles and makes it easier to cut the leg hair. These joy razors I love. They have a strip at the top that makes them glide easily over your skin and they have five blades, which I always look for in a razor because it makes shaving comfortable. If you live in Canada, you can actually subscribe to get regular orders of the refills for these cute pink or teal razors at joyshave.ca. I'm personally subscribing to everything I can online these days. It's such a little win in my schedule. And for these joy razors, now I can focus on other things versus remembering when to buy my refills. The starter kit comes with one handle, two refills, and one shower hook for only $9. And shipping on all products is free. Guys, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now finish with a cold splash of water to close your pores back up and moisturize with a little coconut oil and voila guys, you can move on to your day itch free without needing to worry about how to scratch yourself on public transit or having to deal with those angry red bumps. <sighs> I said it, angry red bumps. Have you enjoyed a bit too much ice cream recently or have been super stressed about adulting and noticed that your skin just can't take it anymore and is about to break out? I don't always have 10 minutes to spend covering up all my acne with concealer and special creams and acne can honestly be painful. If you want a super hack to take this down to this with literally two seconds of effort, just try putting a dab of tea tree oil on any zits that haven't come to the surface yet and you should notice a huge difference in size and redness of the spot overnight. I've personally had acne and rosacea for way too long for most of my life. Guys, leave me a comment below if you are like me and you fall into this category. Now this tip is incredible. One thing that we're super harsh on is our hair. And let me not forget, we're hard on our poor arms that we have to hold up for 20 minutes in the air while doing said hair. The truth is you don't actually need a mane of curls to look like you put in the effort. In fact, people probably aren't gonna notice too much of a difference between this and this. So try this, with your straightener, just put a few spread out curls in your hair, every few inches on the top layer, and then finger comb them loose. You can literally do this in five minutes, I love this trick and you'll simultaneously save a lot of your hair from heat damage. Hashtag little wins. Now guys, did you know that from a fashion perspective, most humans actually get stuck in a rut of rotating through only five or six outfits in their entire wardrobe. Instead of using our creative brain to choose new outfits each day, most of us actually struggle with a psychological concept called decision fatigue, meaning that our brain tries to avoid making new decisions. To get the most out of all your clothes and find new cool creative combinations you never would have thought of before, 
try tying a bow in the middle of the rod that holds all of your clothes hangers. Now, when you've worn a shirt or dress recently, put it on the right side of the bow. And when you go to choose an outfit the next day, you have to pick something from the left. When you get to the last few shirts or dresses and you simply don't wanna wear them, now you know exactly which clothes you need to get rid of or donate. Now you're gonna be using your wardrobe to its fullest, look amazing, and you're gonna have so much more variety in your day-to-day -day outfits without having to think too hard. Now, if you're wondering what to do with this pile of clothes that are ready for the garbage or the donation bin, if you want to get creative, try ripping some of them into thin strips and using them as headbands to tie your hair back while doing your makeup or washing your face. Now, raise your hand if you've ever been embarrassed by the sheer volume of products that you have to get ready. Maybe you're going to a sleepover and you literally need an overnight bag just for your getting ready products. One of the things that really hinders your makeup routine is having too many products that just simply do too many things. One of the easiest ways to simplify and declutter your beauty routine is to get multi-purpose makeup products that can function as more than one thing. So for example, this eyeshadow palette has shades suitable that can actually be used as eyeshadow, blush, and to fill in my brows. Look for items like this in your makeup drawer, and then while you're shopping, be conscious of whether a product can serve more than one function. This will ultimately help you get ready faster. If you're going away, you'll pack for a shorter period of time and can easily simplify the stress of a makeup routine. Now my love bugs, your scent is one of the simplest things that can make us feel beautiful and it's often very overlooked. Carrying perfume and deodorant in your purse isn't always an option. It can be a bit clunky for a small bag and they're super annoying to carry around. I love to use essential oils in my diffuser and this is becoming more and more popular over the past few years, but guys, did you know that you can also get essential oils in roll-on tubes? They fit perfectly into your purse and you'll smell amazing and as a bonus, your mood will also be lifted. Scents have been known to affect our moods in so many different ways. For example, orange is known to have an energizing effect and lavender has a calming one. Also, super pro tip, if you are feeling super sleepy when you wake up, like I do all of the time when I've been working super hard or studying for something or working on a big girl boss project, sometimes you don't always have access to a cup of coffee and you need to go right away. When you're starting to feel a little bit sleepy in class and maybe you even pulled an all-nighter, try using some orange or lemon scented essential oil and this will help you feel less tired. Citrus scents are proven to be energizing. I love tips that are super easy and just give you that quick little boost. If you are a regular perfume or essential oil applier, make sure that the pores on your skin are open. So you're in a hot bath or a shower before you actually apply any perfumes or oils because when your pores are open, the skin will absorb more of the scent and it actually makes the scent last longer than it would if you put it on closed pores. Finally guys, many of us spend a lot of time and money in nail salons because we're just too lazy to paint them ourselves. This is totally me. Painting your nails can be messy and honestly a little bit tedious when you're just trying to paint them super tidily. Guys, one thing people rarely do anymore is simply keep your nails healthy and maintained instead of going for acrylics and colored polish. To keep your nails looking super nice, just file them regularly and then simply apply a clear top coat. Precision isn't even required you can be as messy as you want, nobody is gonna notice. You're gonna save so much time and money with this hack, you'll have so much time to do other things that you love, and the bonus is that this will match any outfit and any skin tone. If you like this video, subscribe and leave some of your favorite easy beauty hacks in the comments below. Big thank you again to Joy for partnering with me on this video, and I'll see you guys next week for another video all about relationships. Bye guys.